on little planet Earth over here, people are walking around going, dude, there's not enough energy for everybody. We got to fight for it. We got a war. I need that energy. Meanwhile, every single atom in the universe is extracting it directly from the vacuum using spin. This is a possibility for humanity right here to start to understand how to extract energy directly out of the source of energy that produces all of the universe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And remember the numbers? 10 to the minus 39% of the energy in a centimeter cube of, uh, uh, in a proton volume is the only thing that's needed to produce all the proton. So imagine if we extract a little teeny weeny beady little teeny thing of the amount of energy that's there in technological ways, we can power the whole planet for thousands and thousands of years. Right? And we could extract that energy, and we can extract that energy anywhere in space. Anywhere in the universe, we will have access to infinite amount of energy. Can you imagine a society that reached that level? What it looks like? Do you think they are going to war with each other to get some oil? Most likely not. Do you think they go to war with each other to try to get more land? Most likely not. Why? Because if you have this level of energy, you can curve space-time. You can produce wormholes. You can make black holes in laboratory. You have space drives instantaneously. We are very, very close to this moment. I think we're close to this moment where our society has reached levels where we have exhausted a lot of our resources and we have to come to the next level. And in order to come to that next level, the only thing we must actually understand and apply is how gravitational field and the structure of the vacuum, the energy at the source of creation, works. As soon as we understand that, we're done. No more struggle. No more lack. You know, the only reason we war is because we have a lack mentality. That's it. That means we think there's limited amount of resources and we got a war for them. So this is on its way. The only problem, the only hick, is will we, as a morphogenic field, be able to actually 